this is question 5 on exam form A. Now, the question asks us which is the following, which of the following is true? And it gives us four different statements and a function. And what we want to do is we want to go ahead and prove either right or wrong each of those four different statements individually. Now the first thing uh, you want to do is you want to take this function and you want to try to simplify it as much as possible. So, to simplify this function, um, you can factor things out of both the top and the bottom. But from the top here you can factor out 3, and that would give you 3 times x plus 2. From the bottom there, what we've got is a difference of squares, so we can factor that into 2 minus x and 2 plus x. Now, what you notice from here is that our 2 plus x, 2 plus x's can cancel, and we're just left with 3 over 2 minus x. Now that is the simplified version. Of, um, of uh, that function. So now that we've got that, we can go ahead and uh, prove or disprove each individual statement. The first is the limit as x approaches negative 2 from the right, left of f of x equals infinity. And if we plugged in 2 into this equation, we would get a 0 in the denominator which is undefined. But, this is 2 from the left, so what that means is if you had a graph, here's 2, we're approaching 2 from the left, so we're coming here. We're not, we're not quite getting to 2, but we're just slightly less than 2. So, what you would do is you would take this 2 minus, and 2 from the left, something close, but slightly less than 2 would be 1. 0.99999 off to infinity with 9's. Now that's going to give us 3 over 2 minus 1.9999 is going to give us a 0 0.00001 off to infinity. Now that's a really small number. Now if you take uh, a number 3 and divide it by a really, really small number off to infinity, you're going to get a really large number or in this case you're going to get infinity because it's just going to keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So, P is true. Um, now for Q it says it's continuous if F at negative 2 equals 3 fourths. <coughs> now to figure that out we're going to take the simplified version here, plug in negative 2 and see what it equals. Now when we plug in negative 2 for this you're going to get 2 minus negative 2, which is the same thing as 3 over 2 plus 2, which is the same thing as 3 fourths. So that's also true. Now, <coughs> it says there's a horizontal asymptote at y equals 0. Now, there's a horizontal asymptote whenever the power, the highest power in the denominator is greater than the, the highest power in the numerator. In this case, the highest power is x squared or in the simplified version it's, it's, it's 1 because there's a 1 there and the highest power in the top is, is 1 here so 2 is greater than 1 so we do have a horizontal asymptote at y equals 0 now the last statement there's a vertical asymptote at x equals 2 and x equals negative 2 um, for this one there is a horizontal asymptote at x equals 2, because so when you plug in 2 here, so you know 0 in the denominator, so that's an asymptote. However, at x equals negative 2, if you plug that in, it would be 0, but the x plus 2 is cancelled. So instead of an, a vertical asymptote being here, what you're going to get here is a hole, not a vertical asymptote. So this is false. So the correct answer then would be P, Q, and R are all true. And that corresponds to answer choice A.